Hey everyone, welcome back. This is me, Namrita Palat. Hope you all are staying safe and taking all the precautions against the coronavirus. That's everywhere now and also quite scary so today in this video i'm gonna share my views on this eyeshadow palette which i received in the march boxy jump base box so this is from a brand called hank and henry and uh, this uh, palette is called living in color so i already swatched uh, all the shades on my hand and created this look using some of the shades from this palette so at first uh, let's start with the palette Packaging. This one has very uh, bulky yet a uh, sturdy packaging and uh, you can see all the shade names along with the shades in the back and uh, in the front you can see the uh, palette name and also very colorful uh, that way you can assume the shades would be very colorful as well. So it comes with nine um, beautiful shades and uh, i already love the color scheme of it it has a few uh, neutral shades few mattes and few metallics and the metallics are very very pigmented those are very creamy in texture that's what i actually prefer for the metallic shadows but the mattes those are actually not very pigmented on the first go but you can build it up by applying several times that way it actually works so good so uh, that's that and uh, the eye makeup you are seeing right here i used uh, some of the shades from this palette to create this look so if you're interested keep on watching so starting off with priming my eyelids and today i'm using the urban decay eyeshadow primer potion At first picking up a neutral shade to put all over my crease and this shade is sort of a burnt orange shade and it's called Rusty Edge. After placing the pigment I used a clean brush to blend all the edges and to make sure it looks well blended. And next I picked another matte shade it's called Boy's Toy it's a royal blue shade and I put that all over my lid but the problem is this shade is not as pigmented as I expected so I uh, reapplied the shade two three times but uh, even after those layers it didn't look even on my lid it looks a little patchy as you can see right now and uh, after applying this shade I uh, pick the crease color one more time to blend uh, both the shades Next went with the metallic shade from the Fenty Moroccan Spice palette it's called Evil Jenny it's a medium blue turquoise blue sort of a shade and placing that only to the sides of my lid it will cover up uh, if there any unevenness from the previous blue shade and uh, then picked a metallic shade from the Hank and Henry palette and placing that only to the center of my eyelid and this uh, metallic shade from this Hank and Henry palette called Petticock and it's very very pigmented and that way it looks like a very soft hello eye and uh, that's all about the upper lid and then used hank and henry blickety black eyeliner pen it comes with a felt tip applicator to draw very thin wings And now I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. It's in the shade Gotcha. It's a bright green shade for a pop-up color in the waterline. And the next I picked a metallic shade from the Hank and Henry palette. It's called Fuchsia to put in the outer lower lash line. And uh, then I curl my lashes followed by Good Coat Up Mascara. Today I use this Joa Lash Up Rising Mascara to complete this eye makeup. This is it for today's video. If you want to see this kind of video more often, then don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to this channel. I'll be back with the next one. Till then, bye bye. Take care.